So, hey guys, Chauso here. And yeah, this is going to be Garb Challenge Hody with all the chain captains. We're starting off with 6 plus V2 Mihawk. And yeah, the thing with Hody is that there's nothing inherently bad for chain captains here. Like, the big one is probably the burn, since chain captains are usually not killing until like the fifth or sixth hit. So you do take a lot of burn damage, so you need something to remove it, but other than that, like... Uh, what made team building mostly hard here is the final stage, since you do need a lot of damage output. And like... Ho Holy is always in, so... Except for Sanji with his Sai... Uh, it's hard to reach that damage and you also need to deal with the death up so yeah it ends up being pretty restrictive in a way and yeah you need a plan for all stage like this stage for example but yeah for both the mihawk and uh, uh kusan teams lufalo ended up being a uh, mvp uh, the weird thing with Lufala with uh, Mihawk in particular is that only Law himself is a slasher, Luffy isn't. So if you swap to Luffy, you lose Mihawk's captain ability completely, you do no damage. Unless you use L L Luffy Law special, because Luffy Law turns into a slasher then, which is what we did here. And yeah, we are stalling a little bit now, getting CD back and such. Also fishing for quick or strength orb, so we can take these guys out. Because yeah, when Luffy Law can swap now, we can take out one of them. And we, yeah, we did get a strength orb now, so we can just target the strength guy, break the barrier, take him out, and then finish off the other guy with Luffy Law. Yeah, now the real deal starts here. And yeah, Luffy Law has the EVA support here, absolutely essential. We're not going to be able to withstand all that poison damage. And the great part with 6 plus V to Mihawk is that he's the by far bulkiest chain captain and yeah, that really helps when you take hits, you get residual damage and all of that. Uh, the others, especially with Trikusan, his biggest problem is the bulk. But yeah, Miyok has no issues. Especially since my Miyok is Limit Break Expander. Since Limit Break Expander, Mihawk does get up 1.3 times HP. So, if I found another Mihawk, with a limb break expanded, it will be even higher HP for me. And yeah, I am setting up for next turn. Yeah, this is going to be a weird way to handle this, but I need to swap so I can swap to Law now. Get that berry pen. And to secure the kill, I also need extra damage, so we're using one Mihawk. Or boost here. And yeah, we are spilling up the chain so that Lufala can one the KO final hit. No problem. And yeah, the para here obviously doesn't matter. We have the ship. We still need to stall a turn, so Lufala is ready. And yeah, we can just repeat the same procedure. Swap to Lufalo, get the berry pen, get attack boost, we use Mihawk, lock the orbs. And yeah, we carry over the orb boost as well, which will be very helpful. And yeah, as said, the burn here is annoying, it's the only reason we have the Rare Recruit page 1 here. 
most of the time I use page one is when I do these Miyok teams because I don't have... You don't have many options, especially when you do a Garp Challenge team since it needs to be Dex Slasher. Bug of support gets an extra attack boost. And yeah, you always want to take out this side guy right away since he starts HP cutting you, healing and stuff. Very annoying. And yeah, you can sadly can't one turn this, but it's fine. We have well enough HP. And yeah, final stage. It took a time, a wee little while to figure this out. I had to give up on the idea of one turning this stage. I ended up having to stall. But when you stall, you have to accept that you need to remove damage reduction as well. It's why I ended up putting Kamoso on the team as well. I used him first stage just to get some extra damage. And I knew he'd be ready again for final stage, obviously. So we'll use him only to get rid of the damage reduction. Very silly, but it is what it is. Removing death up is rough, since like the only slasher who is dex that removes death up is the free-to-play event law, but we have Luffy law, who is more important, so we end up using Koshiro support. And Kisna Sorosanji also gives attack boost, so that's nice. We get the high ore boost from Luffy law as well. And yet 2 times attack, 2.5 times ore boost, and the extra bonus shame boost. That's going to be enough to kill Holy, thankfully. So yeah, that's the first team done. So, good start. Moving on to the next one. And yeah, it's time for the 6 plus V2 Sanji team. And yeah, there's a lot of familiar faces here, like this plus V2 Sanji requires you to use fighters, so you need to go for fighter and Psy, and there's only that many super good options. Uh, the, uh, the odd one here is probably the Kisna Koala, not a good unit, usually just no reason to use her. Uh, the main reason she's used here is that uh, funnily, she's the only Psy fighter that legit guarantees you a full board of Psy orbs, and that was like everything I needed from her. As a bonus, she also can run the missile tree support, so that helps on stage 3 just to stall a bit because we do need to stall there. And yeah, we used the Frank at the Sunny special here because we need to stall anyway here, so no reason to spend more time there than needed. So yeah, the plan here is easy, we use Railing Special. And we want to take out everything here except for the Dex Mob. We're going to keep that Recover Orb and Shopper because we do want to heal soon. And yeah, we 2 Railing is really nice for this since... Yeah, on this stage he lets you bypass the barriers and we're going to use him again on stage 5 since he also lets us bypass the damage threshold while also giving a 2 times attack and ore boost for fighters, that's very cool. See, I'm doing two things right now. I'm stalling for recovery orbs and dex orbs and I'm going to eat the recovery orbs when Rayleigh is at 7 CD and I'm going to burst when Rayleigh is at 6 CD, so that's the plan. Getting pretty bad luck with dex orbs here, but very good recovery orb luck. And yeah, I think two recovery orbs is definitely fine. Like to survive the rest of this, but yeah, we're going to eat them soon. Alright, we heal, we heal up to, back to full HP. That's nice. We're good for this content after that. So yeah, now we burst and move on to next stage. I'm not talking about the shopper yet, but yeah, he's definitely my most used 5-star legend because shopper as a 5-star is a fighter, but he's not that as a 6-star. 
but Chopper Special is so busted, so especially when you don't have as many options as Sanji has when you do a Psy Fighter team. Chopper just ends up being super useful in general. So yeah, Chopper is going to remove the poison later, but we're saving him for stage 6 so he can remove both the poison and the burn at the same time. And yeah, we're finally done with this stage. And yeah, we're going to use Koala now. And the main reason I want to use Koala here, like, it's two reasons. First, of course, the full board of matching orbs here. But you need to remember it's not just full board of matching orbs for this stage. Because this guarantees that Robin gets a Psy Orb. And I'm going to save this Psy Orb on Robin until the final stage. Because that means Robin can give the Psy Orb to all other units. And a full board of matching Psy Orbs here also means that we can one turn this stage. Without having to use Robin special which is just absolutely essential. Or without hitting with Robin. Because if we hit with Robin we lose her orb of course. But yeah, we can just kill without hitting with Robin. And yeah, of course, just minor orb RNG here. We're going to uh, resify that with uh, Chopper support. He has the Psy uh, gear for Luffy. So he will make most orb smashing, everything except for Dex and Quick, I think. So. Yeah, minor RNG, but it's not like we need everything to have matching orbs. That's just a nice bonus this run. We use Frank Captain Sanji again. That's going to be only, our only buff here, but it's enough to kill this squid on the first turn. And yeah, we can easily take this guy out second turn. And yeah, Chopper's healing is nice here too, of course. Like, he removed the burn, he removed the poison. He makes sure we get to final stage with enough HP to take a hit from Hody too. So yeah, we have two specials left. We've saved them in the entire run because their supports are very important. Uh, Robin is going to give Psy orbs to everybody. We're just going to stall a turn first. Robin will also remove the death up and damage reduction. And uh, Robin also has the free-to-play event Flumpay support, so we'll get a 1.5 times or boost. Uh, Sanji will give us the attack boost 2.25 times. He also has Ceph support, so that's 1.5 times call affinity to the team. So yeah, considering that we are a side team against an int boss, yeah, this is going to be well more than enough damage. Easy kill. So yeah, the main problem with that team is survivability really and needing to use a ship that doesn't have easy perfects. I felt like quite a few of those were kind of annoying to hit perfects with consistently too. So that took me quite a while. This wasn't that bad though. I actually made used Mary for this team in the beginning. But when I got the final stage, I lacked like 2 million damage. I went with Liberal Hind. It's the better ship anyway. Like, you get higher attack, you get higher healing, you just miss out on the easier perfect. And yeah, I made a strat here so I can one turn this without using a special. Just need to make sure I hit the strength guy last and he will take enough damage to be taken out and Luffy loss swap will guarantee the kill on Hody. And yeah, I'm going to try and kill the mobs here this first turn. We'll see how many we can take out. And yeah, we were able to take them all out, so that's nice. Uh, this team is a bit more straightforward than the others. We're not going to stall for specials or anything. We'll, we're actually making it through like the first 
four stages without any special, so that's nice. The nice part with Rigi Kusan is that you can abuse Lupula's super good swap here without having to care if it's Dex or Quick. Like, you do damage with either one. So yeah, basically Lufula is going to carry us through stage 2 to 6, basically. And yeah, I definitely rate Lufula as like the best sub for Ichikusan in general. They have such great synergy and... I've talked a bit about this before me using Luffy Law with Kusan, but Shane Captains really <sighs> makes better use of Luffy Law's qualities. Since, like with your swap, if you want to go through barriers, damage, press on, and such, only Luffy Law themselves will do mo uh, most damage. So, with the Shane Cap, that just maximizes their damage output. And yeah, we're going to stay here for three turns. Uh, Dawson has a three turn timer, so it works out. We can make sure that we take out Sio now. We just need a Kusan special to guarantee the extra damage needed. Cool. And yeah, we can swap back to Law now. And we can take out Dosso now. And as I talked about earlier, HP is the biggest issue here. But the Liberal Hand helped and I did eat an extra meat dog there, so there should be no problems at all. When I used Marigo I had Marco support on Whitebeard for some extra healing, but since I didn't need it now, I have Odin support now for extra damage final stage with the 1 orb. But yeah, we use Uishu Kusan here, and we use Whitebeard, Whitebeard removes the burn. We get some extra shame boost, and attack boost to Whitebeard and Smoker. And yeah, that will be enough to take out the squid here, which is the main priority. I messed up my tap order a bit, but it worked out, so it's fine. And yeah, Lufler is going to do his main final job now, swap again, use his special finally. And this will let us take out this very annoying dex enemy for this quick team. Yeah, when I try making other quick teams like this, little dex guy has been super annoying really. So it's nice just being able to take him out easily. And yeah, we have just enough HP to survive here. You take like 15,000 from... Cody, so we're good. Some support to guarantee matching orb. I'm going to hit one perfect with Soga King here. He removes one turn of Death Up, so Death Up is gone now. And Jay puts up damage threshold now. Uh, Soga King special removes three turns of it and gives an orb boost. Very low, just 1.75 times, but yeah, we have a very high attack boost instead, 2.5 times. And we have a lot of high attack units, and as said, Wiper has the one orb, so we're going to hit last with him, and that will add a lot of damage as well. See, so yeah, the damage is tight, but it's enough. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.